Hey, what's going on everybody? Scott Dog Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we are back. We're playing some Football Manager 2016 and we are up against PSV. The last, potentially the last two games of the season. This is the Europa League playoff. Um, if we manage to pick up a result against PSV over two legs, we'll be in the final of the playoff in the hope that we can get into the Europa League. Um, honestly, it feels a bit far-fetched at this moment in time. PSV are a far better team than us. Um, and I think they probably beat us twice this season. Let's have a little look, see if we can see their results. PSV, there's a loss for us. And... Oh no, we did pick up a win at home. Um, so, there's a, there's a little glimmer of hope there. It's not a huge one. I have to say, I'm not feeling that we will be consistent enough to win over two legs. But... Let's have a little look at the team. Have we got anything anything we can do to make us a little bit better? Good news is, is that Legendrek is back. Samari, the bad news is that Ahmed is out. Um, so Fito is going to drop into the middle and Samari is going to go out on the left. Um, that is pretty much it. So off we go, everybody. Uh, a win here sets us up nicely for a second leg. Away from home, keeping it tight. A nil nil or 1-1 one, one would do us. We'd probably even take a 2-1 loss. But I'm assuming, I'm making the assumption... Oh, go on, Samari, go on, boy. I'm making the assumption that away goals make a difference. Okay, here we go. Fito with the corner. Headed away. Van Drongen picks it up. Oh, Rock, his shot was blocked. A little unlucky. Good little bit of early pressure. Two corners in the first couple of... First minute, essentially. There's Fito. He's going to look for a pass. He's going back to De Fritz and there's that little bit of pressure over, but it's a good early start for us. Now we're 10 minutes in and not a lot else has happened since then. And here's a corner for PSV. We've headed it clear. It's come back in though. Poor mark in. Terrible mark in. They're a goal up. Dear, oh dear. We are so bad from set pieces. And I don't really know why. All I've done for the second half of this season, pretty much, is work on defending set pieces. I don't understand how we can be so bad at it. I mean, defending in general isn't good. But we are really bad at defending set pieces. There's Fito. There's Samari. It's Legendrek, he's hit the post and it's bounced straight back into the keeper's hands. We're a little unlucky. They're in behind us, it's a good block. As I said earlier, I'd rather have a 2-1 loss than a 1-0 win to them. And Drongland sees that way at the near post. Here they come again. We've headed it clear, we didn't pick up the ball though and it's come straight back. Merrill's done well. We haven't won it back yet. 35 minutes gone. We're not looking good. Free kick on the edge of the box. Fito with it. It's easily cleared. There's Rock. Rock's found Samari. What can he do? He's found Fito. Fito found Van Dronglen, who beats his man. He's going to get a cross in. He does. It's straight into the keeper, who parries it behind. Five minutes to go before half time. Easily cleared that corner. It looks like we're going in at half time, at least a goal down. We're a little unlucky, I think. A little unlucky, but our Achilles heel again. The lack of set piece defending. Rock picks it up, he keeps it in. He's gone for the cross, it's straight into the keeper's hands. Sorensen's picked up a book in. Van Dronglen with the throw. There's Fito. Back to Van Dronglen. Skip past his man. Samari is inside. Fito's gone down. And here they come. The one two's on, and they're going to have a man over in the middle. We've missed the challenge. We've managed to get it clear for a throw in. Freach long throw. It's coming straight back. One ball. 
They're in behind. His 18th goal of the season is there. Kaza Velishvili. <laughs> Don't really Kaza Zavashvili. Kaza Zashvili. Um, dear, oh dear. Just, we were pushing. We were pushing, but we weren't pushing that hard. We shouldn't have got caught by one ball over the top. I think some of it comes down to Sorensen's pace. I think that doesn't help us. Uh, but we need a goal and we need one desperately. We're going to go for it. I don't think we've got a lot to lose. Oh, I didn't realise we'd already got to the last minute of the game. If we concede here, it's all over. Oh my lord, how has he missed that? That could be a little tiny, the tiniest lifeline back into the game. It's a disappointing loss. It's a disappointing loss, but we need a win by at least two goals. We need to not concede. We've only got three games, three days rest. Wow. Looks like our European dream is over. And looks like we potentially are ending this uh, ending this season with a tad of disappointment. However, that being said, it's been it's been such a a fantastic season for us to be talking about potentially getting into Europe is huge. We need to build on it though. That's the big thing. Okay. Here we go. We need a win. We need a big, big win. Okay. Fito still playing in the middle. I'm tempted, you know. To swap this round a little bit. Put Visses back in and put Fito up top. I think that's what we're going to go for. We're going to get Samari on the bench. And we're going to get Ketting at the back for Sorensen. Sven Vorden's going to play even though he's injured. Okay. Gonna play attacking, and off we go. Yes, we've got some tired players, but we're going for it. This is the best team I think we can put out in terms of getting goals. They're gonna flood the midfield in numbers. Now I'm going to lie blatantly to my defence's face, telling them I've got faith in them to go out and make a difference. Here we go. Early goal could be huge. There's Fitto. There's the ball across. We've got a corner. We had early pressure last game. It didn't really pay dividends. Visses picks it up and finds Fitto again. There's the ball across. Keeper's done well. We can get something early, we have a chance. There's Visses. Rock doesn't come to the ball. We've picked it up again though. There's Van Dronglen. He's going to look for Fitto, I would imagine. No, he's going to go himself. There's the cross. It's direct to Legendrek. He's missed. There's Visses. There's Calero. It's gone back out to Stan Vorden. He's lost the ball. We've had a couple of early chances, little sighters. Probably should have done a little bit better that time round. Here they come, their first attack of the game. It's going to end in a... Ooh, almost ended in a goal. There's Van Dronglen. 15 minutes gone. Oh, 
half an hour gone. We haven't got anything out of this game yet. Come on, boys. No challenge on him at all. Rock's going to pick that up, though. It's not where we want Rock, though, if I'm really honest. Don't want Rock in our own box. Um, anyway, um, let's keep going. Here they come again. First 30 seconds of the second half. We've managed to intercept that ball. Going to need to go a bit more attacking fairly soon, I think. That's the worst pass you could have played there, Vissers. And here they come. There's that one ball over the top of our defence. Awful attempt, mind you. I am going to change formation here, I think. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Going all out attack and hope that we can get anything back. Oh dear, they're in again. Ball is a bit poor. Done well to hold it up though, and there's the goal. And that is us out of any kind of contention of this game, and that's so disappointing, but we had to go for it. What's disappointing is that we haven't really looked like putting any pressure on them, and it's so simple for them to pass the ball through us. I get it in the second half when we've gone a bit more attacking, but we didn't really we didn't really do anything to give us any kind of hope. That's the thing that I find disappointing. Um Just make that change in that. I think this is done and dusted. Fito with the corner. Oh, we've hit the bar. <laughs> Not that it would have made any difference, but disappointing that. But I have to say, it's been a huge season for us. But it only really makes a difference if we build on it. And that's the real key here. We need to build on this season. Got a good set of youngsters. We need to hold on to them. We've lost the ball. One pass. Three people through the middle. We knew this would happen. There's the goal. 4 nil. That's not what we wanted though. Over two legs. But you know, in the second leg I understand when you're, when you're pushing forward. The fact that we haven't scored a single goal in two games. Two legs is disappointing. We need to improve at the back and improve at the top end of the pitch. They're the two areas. But be interesting to see what kind of funds we have uh, to make any kind of improvements. Oh, we've lost the ball again, and here they come again. This could be embarrassing by the end of it. This could be really embarrassing by the end of it. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Can we get the ball, please, boys? Well done. Um, just to highlight, with this being the last episode of this season, uh, there will probably be a... Oh man, come on, someone defend. There will probably be a week or so's break between the start of next season and the end of this one. Um, it's a particularly busy period for me, unfortunately, uh, with work-related stuff. Um, so hopefully that isn't too much of a problem for everybody. We'll be back as soon as we can. Um, but just it takes a little bit of time to get through the off-season uh, and I don't know how much free time I'm going to have to do that. So... Um, 
hopefully it's not too much of a problem. We will be back as soon as we can be with more episodes of This Is Sparta. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I do really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think we need to do next season to have the best season that we can have and what you think are realistic expectations for next season. Um, I asked the question a couple of episodes ago about what we should do, um, whether we should be staying at Sparta and the... Uh, the view is that that's the, that's the thing that people want, so I'm quite happy with that. Uh, we will continue to push on with Sparta, uh, and we'll see where we go. It'll be interesting to see what kind of funds we get, but we'll call it the end of the episode here. What I'll do is, if there's anything interesting that happens towards the end of the season, I'll come back at the end of the video and just have a little chat about it. But um, if not, we'll see you again at the, uh, the start of next season we'll have a normal episode to have a clear up of everything that went on in off season uh, and then we'll pick up with expectations and what we expect to happen so let's have a little look at some of the news here end of season team meeting uh, we'll do that in a bit uh, confidence review class performance competition end of the season is pleasing particular highlight additional signs improved proved adequate um, Scouting, and there we go. Training summary, uh, some positive things. Okay, bit of uh, end of season. Hold team meeting. Let's have a little look. Going to qualify for Europe? I don't think qualifying is realistic. Well, screw you. Well, at least Kevin Cock is on side, eh? <sighs> no, no one's happy with that. Well, never mind. You've got you got a few months to get over it. Thanks very much, everybody. Um, right, we're gonna have a six-week off season. We're gonna hit continue there, and we are going to. Have a look at our budgets. The board of set initial wage budget is 73k and a transfer budget of 1.3 million. Um, that can be changed based on uh, changes to the expectations. And the board are about to start some work on our new training ground, uh, which will cost 900k. So there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.